I want to be perfectly clear. I'm here to set the record straight. I am, and have been, the only star killer in the galaxy. Ever. No, I'm star killer. No, I'm star killer. Oh, God, here we go no. again. I am no, star killer. No, 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 it's not me. I am. Oh, I am. No, me, 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 Star killer. Star killer is back. Or is he? This paper thin pretext is the setup for this follow up to the surprisingly decent Force Unleashed. Set roughly seven months after the good ending of The Force Unleashed, you again take on the role of Starkiller, or do you, after Vader recreates him by the use of cloning Crafty. Luckily, you escape from his vile clutches and go on the run, searching for answers. Levels take in locales of old and new, including a blink and you'll miss him cameo of Yoda on the almost pointless Dagobah level. Whilst The Force Unleashed 2 may look pretty, it's as long as a gnat's cock. You can burn through the campaign in less than 6 hours, and unless you're a completionist, you'll not want to go back. Gameplay wise, The Force Unleashed 2 is solid, and the Force powers are still loads of fun. The new mind trick is a touch of genius, allowing you to turn foes into allies, or making them commit suicide. It's not going to win any awards, but it will please the hardcore fans, and when you factor in the DLC which allows Ewok killing, you're onto a winner.